Um, we're rolling. Lift up your back. To click it. Now lift it up into frame. Hello, my name is Joshi Lee. I'm a director and filmmaker. And in this video, I'm going to talk you through the process of making our most recent short horror, Queer. So we've been wanting to do something like this for a little while now, something to give you more of a backstage look into our process as filmmakers. If you do enjoy this, please let us know in the comments below and we'll do our best to keep delivering. Thanks to the current epidemic, most creatives and self-employed individuals' lives have been put on hold. Myself and Louis are in the exact same boat. I'm currently isolating with my girlfriend and her family, and luckily for me, her younger siblings, Siren and Bree, both share a keen interest in acting. So that's kind of where we started, a house and two cast members. Then Summer, Siren and I sat down and came up with a few ideas pretty quickly before locking down the story. Then I spent the rest of the evening writing and completing the script. The next day, I Skyped Luciana D'Amato, my producer and Studio 7 business partner, to go over the logistics and see if we had the time in our schedules. And after going over everything and how we would pull it off, we decided that Louis could produce and art direct from the comfort and safety of his home through the computer on Skype, which was interesting actually but worked surprisingly well. We didn't have all of our equipment at hand as I couldn't bring all of it home before the quarantine sanction, but luckily I had the main tools, camera, lenses, and lights. The audio had to be completed through ADR in post, but we'll get to that later. So first off, we needed to shot list slash storyboard the film to work out exactly what we needed and how much time things would take. And in the spirit of keeping things minimal and unfortunately not having a printer at hand, our schedule and shot list were written down in my notebook instead. Once working out the idea, we then had to work out the specifics, the how. So we rigged up a few bits and bobs and set up a couple test shots. We also had the money shot to work out too, like how exactly we were going to dangle Gabrielle down the stairway and make her fly upwards. I jumped around with a few different ideas, like do we do it in post, green screen, do we layer the shots and key her in, but we ended up stuffing a pair of her leggings attached to her Halloween dress and it worked pretty well. The same problem solving process went with most things, like colour matching the kitchen light with kitchen roll, or adding an old tripod head to a light stand to get certain tilt and pan shots. Again, it all worked. Our lighting setups were basic as three point lighting, using different temperatures to create depth and make the shots more interesting. We've done the old Hollywood cheat of having the moonlight everywhere, so you'll see it at both sides of the house using an LED panel with a blue office folder acting like a coloured gel. We also utilise practical lights with candles to create more of a horror vibe inside the house. Altogether, including pickups, we shot for three nights, setting up around 8pm once the sun had set, 
and finishing around midnight. <laughs> Do you know exactly the same as you did before? Mm -hmm. Walk over there, you've got to stop on that mark because I'm going to be on focus when you look at her. What, stop and look over when I get here, yeah? That was good, actually. Then came the editing, which again wasn't too strenuous, only lasting around four days in between other works. A few of the scares in the film, like the shadow of the little girl, were done in post also. It would have been just as easy to have someone drag a piece of dark clothing across the camera lens, but we just didn't have the hands available. So what I did was create a colour mat in Premiere Pro, head to the opacity settings, and using the pen tool, I drew out a rough shape of three. Brought the feathering up to simulate the subject being out of focus, and then just keyframed it across the frame. Exactly the same with the quick cut on the stairs too. As I briefly mentioned earlier, we couldn't record sound live on set, so we had to recreate everything in post. We then had to re-record all the dialogue in ADR, which again worked out really nice. I think Brie and Sai had a little bit more fun with it, but they were awesome and nailed their roles, so you can't complain. Every clip. Oh, scary. That's it. Oh. The other reason for kind of putting together this video and making the film was, you know, just show you that you can still be creative in your home and just use what you've got to tell stories or practice your craft or, you know, just, just hone some kind of skill, whether it's your writing or composition, editing, anything, you know, you can film on your phone, it doesn't matter what you've got, DSLR, anything, you know, you can chuck something together. And I know that we had access to decent enough equipment and performers and whatnot, but yeah, you could do this with literally anything and anyone at your disposal. Um, and it's a perfect, this whole time really is a perfect opportunity to really test yourself as a storyteller and find whatever you can to build your story around that's accessible to you like right now. So yeah, we wish you all the best. Please stay safe and be creative. Stretching.